Hi everyone and welcome back to Everything Paulette. Today I will be making for you Bajan coconut sweetbread. Okay, so here are the ingredients. I have in this bowl uh, two and a half cups of grated coconut. I have one cup of brown sugar. I have one teaspoon of spice, one teaspoon of grated nutmeg. I have two, I'm sorry, I have one and a half cups of uh, shortening and half a cup of margarine that I melted in the microwave. I have one cup of evaporated milk and I also warm that in the microwave. I have one cup of coconut water. I have one and a half tablespoons of vanilla extract. And I have six cups of all-purpose flour and two and a half tablespoons of baking powder. I sifted everything together in this bowl, okay? In this bowl, I have a quarter cup each of golden raisins, currants, mixed peel and glazed cherries the red and the the green glazed cherries okay only a quarter cup of both of both the red and the green glazed cherries everything else is a quarter cup and you can also check the recipe below for all the ingredients that i listed for you in this bowl here, this is optional. This is just something that we Bajans do, and I will show you uh, what I do with it in a bit later. But you can also, I would also put it in the recipe for you. And like I say, this is optional. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna put this on the side over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the coconut, grated coconut. The brown sugar. The spice. Nutmeg. I'm going to give that a mix. Okay, so now I'm going to add the shortening and the margarine. And the vanilla extract. And I'm going to give that a mix. So everything is mixed together well. I'm going to add some of the flour. Ok, 
Okay, so I'm going to put in the last bit of the flour. I'm going to add the fruits. everyone so I put all of the flour in and I mixed it everything is well combined and this is the texture that it should look like okay so now I'm gonna turn it out onto my floured bowl And I'm going to knead it for approximately five minutes. Hi everyone. Okay, so I finished kneading my bread, my um, sweet bread, and this is what it should look like. It looks like one big sweet bread. But um, I used one and a half cups of flour just for kneading it, okay? and I need it for about five minutes all right so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut it in three because I have my pans all greased and I also uh, dusted a, a little flour inside so I'm gonna show you how I do that and try to get three even pieces Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flatten this out, and this is where the fruits come in, the extra set of fruits that I had on the side. So I'm just going to put a little bit in there, not too much. Then I'm going to fold it over, just like that. And I'm just going to form the, the, the bread, okay, just like that. Turn it over and I'm going to put it in the pan just like that. I'm going to flatten it out a little bit. I'm going to do the same with the other one. <laughs> the bread should look like in your pans okay all three is ready to go in the oven 
And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take a serrated knife and I'm just going to score, you know, on an angle, the top of them like that. from the other end to complete this core. Do the same thing with the other ones. There you go and I'm just gonna take um, some of the glazed cherries you know I can cut them in half quarters you know you can put a whole one there if you like just you know make it a little pretty decorate with them like that like that and my oven is preheating at 325 degrees and these are going to bake for approximately um, 90 minutes or until you know toothpaste comes out clean okay it's all done so I'm going to put them in the oven now see you back in 90, in approximately 90 what minutes. What the bread look like so far. It has been in the oven for um, one hour and 10 minutes, okay? But I turned the temperature down to 300 in 55 minutes, okay? After 55 minutes, I turned the temperature down to 300 degrees, okay? So what I am doing here, I put a little water at room temperature and I put about a half a teaspoon of brown sugar and then, you know, I mix it to, you know, dissolve the brown sugar. So what I'm going to do here is, um, you know, brush a little water on the top because it's a little dry, not too dry, but this is something that we do when we're baking the sweet bread. You know, we just do this to keep it a little moist, you know, to prevent it from drying out the top of it. Okay? So, I just wanted to let you see this part of it. Okay, so I'm going to put them back in the oven and let them finish for another 15 minutes um, approximately. Okay, so just what I'm doing here, you know, put a brush a little, we call it sweet water or sugar water, okay, just to keep it moist. So I'll see you back when they're all done. Hi everyone, so this is the um, Bajan coconut sweet bread. It is all done and it was in the oven for exactly 90 minutes. Nine zero. Okay, it's nice and golden brown and the wooden skewer is coming out clean. It's not wet. So I'm going to just let it cool for a few minutes and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like when I cut it. Okay. Hi everyone. This is your Bajan coconut sweet bread. And it sure looks delicious, right? So I'm gonna take one and I'm gonna give it a cut to let you see what it looks like. It is still a bit hot, quite warm, but I'm gonna cut it anyway.
ていいかな。So I cut a little slice. Give it a little taste. It's soft, good, really soft. Hmm. Hmm. It is delicious. Okay. So I want to thank you for watching, and please,、um, I hope that you enjoy the video. And that you will make it, and let me know how it came out. And I would appreciate your comments below. And until next video, thank you for watching. Bye for now.